now I've got this head cleaned off a bit and I've just taken the exhaust off this side I just thought it was worth mentioning that sometimes what can happen if the lawnmowers have been stood for quite a long time is they tend to get collect grass in here or sometimes you get a little mouse nest in here um, what happens a lot if that happens behind the exhaust is that the, this block here will overheat and what happens generally when they overheat is as you can see on the front here these valves they have valve seats around the outside now they're designed to run at a certain temperature obviously if you get um, a blockage in here it will increase it will increase the temperature of this main unit here and what happens is it expands but the valve seats pop out and of course you can get a stuck valve so if you take the exhaust off to have a look at these valves just have a look in here make sure it's cleaned out because if it's not your engine will overheat and it'll, it'll run probably run a bit quicker and eventually it'll pop these valve seats out and you'll have to, probably have to try and pin them back in which isn't really uh, what you want to be doing as a repair so make sure when you've got the exhaust off in here that it's clean as well now this is a little breather if you see in here in a minute I'll take it off and I'll just show you inside here because a lot of people seem to be quite interested really in how to um, sort of grind these valves and how to set the uh, clearances on them as well so I'll just take this off and I'll have a look inside here with so you. To remove this breather cover basically you just undo these two bolts here and then there's some little tabs on here if you bend them out with a screwdriver should eventually if you get through the dirt should just uh, open up a little bit more should just pop off. So that's the breather off it took a little bit of uh, persuasion shall we say with a screwdriver but that's off in here you can see you've got the uh, your valve springs in here and once you found top dead center here on the compression stroke you'll be able to set these valve clearances in here now there's no real adjusting way of doing that because inside here it's uh, basically on a cam but once you've set your valves on the front of here once you've ground them down it might just be worth checking the clearances on the uh, on both of your valves so to do this you, you would use a valve spring compressor which I've got and just basically compress these springs and pull them out and then get your valves out grind them all down with some little bit of paste just grind them around the edges pop them back in and check the clearances so if anyone wants to know where the valves are on this Briggs 35 classic engine that's where you'll find them and if you take those springs out and grind them down you can set your clearances